You guys played LeBron James in what was, until he came back, his final games mm -hmm. as a Cleveland Cavalier. People point to game five of that series as an odd moment for LeBron. He seemed disengaged. He only had 15 points. Mm -hmm. He seemed mentally checked out. Now, in game six, he was pretty damn good. He had 27, 19, and 10, but he was on his way out. They lost. There were there's a lot of stuff being talked about surrounding LeBron between mm -hmm. those games. What was the conversation in the locker room or at practice between game five and six? Did you guys think you had mentally beaten him already? Yeah. Um, we had banged him up. You see, because he didn't have the cast that he has now. You know, he had a lot of people to pay attention to, but not to be like, all right, we, we going to let him shoot, mm -hmm. you know? So our game plan was to load on LeBron, make sure he sees five every time, because you know he can get in those lanes and he can create. If he sees five and move the ball, make other people play. So part of your game plan was to play to his unselfishness. Yeah. Backside, load up the defense. Yeah. Don't, don't guard the three-point shooters, because they didn't have the type of shooters that they have now. Well, not dare shooters. We, don't, we call it dare shot. We don't want them a dare shot. We're going to run out there and make sure we run them off the line. Now. Right, right, OK. We don't want Delonte West and, and Anthony Parker making those shots, because now they're a factor in the game when, you know, when they're not, when they you know, shouldn't be. So you know, we were focused on him. But at the same time, it was a team collectively Tom Thibodeau defense yeah. that, that, that made it hard. You, you mentioned Delonte West. Did you guys use that, those rumors going on against LeBron in that series? Hell no. That's, a, that's against the rules? Hell no. That's against the rules. We don't play with nobody mama. This is NBA is a skulls and bones type of, you know. And it's a grown man league, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a grown man league. We don't, we don't play boy games. So, is, that always the rule? is that the rule in the NFL, though? Is, is the same apply? Um, well, Certain this is, I, 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 have a, I, I have a theory. No, no, I do know, but I'm just trying to make sure I say it the right way. No, because, I said certain places you don't go. No, um, no. Yeah, there's cer certain places you won't go, but if a guy will say something to me, and if he's younger, like, he'll be like, old oh, man, um, mm -hmm. you're no good. You're washed up. Don't nobody know about you no more. I would say, your mama know me. <laughs> <laughs> because it's relevant. Yeah. Now, that's a little bit different. Yeah. yeah. But I'd be like, ask your mama. Ask your call your mama. <laughs> she know me. <laughs> so, but there so, weren't rumors about his yeah. mama. No, there no, rumors but, but, about nah, you. It pertained to the situation. Yeah, I would have beat you up, old man. I would have beat you up. <laughs> you'd have beat him up? Yeah. Now, you could have been a football player. I would have beat him up. I'm talking about my mama. No, not Miss David. It's a trigger word for everybody. So that was the, what we were talking about was 2010 season. You guys win the title in 2008. You guys, you guys probably could have won three. You had some bad yeah. injury luck in 2009. Mm -hmm. yep. 2010, you had a little bad injury luck. And then, I mean, you're in game seven of the finals. So, like, you're right there for three years. Right there. The one year in that three-year stretch, you didn't make the finals. Dwight Howard knocked you guys out. And I know the Magic did it, but Dwight, it was Dwight and a bunch of shooters. At that, what, why'd you laugh? Hold up. I'm just going to ask you a question, <laughs> but go ahead. You said Dwight. Yeah. Well, am I wrong? He had the best just, series just, of his career. It's funny. Oh, why is it funny? Explain <laughs> it's hilarious. to me. Why is it funny? Just hilarious, you know, because I had a chance to play with him. Mm -hmm. And to see where he came from, high school, into now, I'm disappointed. You mean his overall mentality, the physical skills? Like, he was a kid. It's both sides. Like, we hadn't seen anyone built like him. Maybe Bo Sean Kemp or someone like that. Both sides. The mindset of going to win, to win, winning every day, mm -hmm. and then the mindset of getting better. Because the scouting report on Dwight, he's not a skillful guy. So keep your body between him and the rim right. and make him make an outstanding jump hook. You know, so when you see what he's been through in the process, it's just the fact that when is he gonna get it right? And at this, like, this, so you're already leading into what I, because in 2009, I thought, all right, LeBron's the best player in the league. When LeBron's done being the best player in the league, I didn't know it was going to go on this long, it's going to be Dwight Howard. Mm -hmm. he, had just, he, was ju he had just finished second in the MVP voting. He was three-time defense player of the year. He looked like the next dominant force. And his game never evolved. And because of that, when his athleticism started to deteriorate, now you have the player he is now, which is a fine player, but never the dominant guy you're telling me from playing against him and playing with him, yeah. you see why that happened? I see why that happened. You know, you see, you know, the 09 year. You think about Richard Lewis. Mm -hmm. 
Jameer Nelson. Hey, dude, Turkaloo. Hey, dude, Turkaloo. Yeah. You talking about guys that played at a high level with a great, with a good player on their team, you know? And I just think the stage was too big for him. It was too big. It was too big. And, you know, right now he's dealing with life and issues, and that takes away from the game. Quick, quick follow, real quick. If he had early in his career gotten on a team with a guy such as Kevin Garnett, if, Ke if, he, if Dwight Howard, let me put it like this, had Kevin Garnett's mindset. Mm. Listen, is, Kevin Garnett saved my career. Me going in a second mm -hmm. round, being in this box as far as overweight. Right, yeah. I seen how to work every day. Yes, Dwight Howard, if he was by KG every day, he would be a better player. No question.